All right, so the five Dragon Ball Fusions units that got their token awakenings last week are now also about to get their Extreme Z awakenings in a couple days. So in this video, we're going to be going over all of their EZA details, starting with the GOAT, Fizz Chow Man. So before the EZA, his leader skill is Fizz types, K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, causes uh, supreme damage to all enemies while sacrificing 10% HP, and then passive is attack plus 80% and defense plus 160%, attack plus 80% when performing a super attack, K plus 8, plus an additional attack plus 200% when HP is 50% or less once only. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, his new leader skill is Fizz Types K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to all enemies while sacrificing 10% HP. Passive is attack plus 100%, and defense plus 200%, attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, medium chance of performing a critical hit, and then key plus 10, plus an additional attack plus 300% when HP is 50% or less once only. So all jokes aside, um, he's actually a very good option for a attack all unit in World Tournament and maybe even regular Super Battle Road. There's a chance that he does work for that because he's actually a pretty good tank getting 200% defense without having to attack and then on the super attack he's getting 200% attack as well so he should be hitting pretty hard. He's also attacking all enemies and uh, of course it does suck that <laughs> he's sacrificing 10% HP on every super which is why he might not be such a good option for super battle road but it does make it easier for you to get that additional 300% attack when HP is 50% or less. So let's say in Super Battle Road, you know, you take a lot of hits, you're at like 30% HP. This guy's one super might wipe out the entire field, right? With the uh, additional 300% attack. So uh, he's gonna be an interesting choice for sure, but for things like uh, World Tournament or just farming purposes, he's gonna be really good. So even though, you know, he's become a bit of a meme, uh, I think it's actually a very, very good Extreme Z Awakening for this unit. So that is the Fizz Chow Man. Now moving on to the next one, which is Fizz uh, Weirus. Three Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, leader skill is Fizz types, keep plus three. HP attack and defense plus 80%. Super attack, supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is changes tech and int key spheres to Fizz key spheres. Attack and defense plus 120%, medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks with 5 or more key spheres obtained, and then attack and defense plus 50% when attacking with 7 or more key spheres obtained. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill becomes Fizz Types Q plus 3, 100% across the board. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers enemies defense. And passive is changes tech and int key spheres to fizz key spheres. Attack and defense plus 150%. Fusion or realm of gods category allies. Attack and defense plus 30% with three or more key spheres obtained. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks with five or more key spheres obtained. And then attack and defense plus 70% when attacking with three or more key spheres obtained. So the main difference in the passive here is the support i believe with uh three key spheres which obviously is not going to be too hard to get because this guy does change two different kinds of key spheres into fizz key spheres so a lot of the times you should be able to get at least five maybe even seven on like every other turn so uh yeah really solid extreme z awakening oh also the um the like base buff is now 150 percent compared to 120 percent so that is the Fizz Weirus. And now we have the uh, STR Kuliza. Is it Kuliza? Yeah, Kuliza. Before the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill was STR Types Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% with each super attack performed up to 30%, so up to, yeah, 30% chance to crit. With the Extreme Z Awakening, STR Types Key plus 3, 
100% across the board. Uh, super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense and causes supreme damage. And of course, this can be infinitely stacked. So instead of just raising attack and defense, now it's greatly raising attack and also raising defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack. High chance of launching an additional super attack, which is a 50% chance, and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% with each super attack performed up to 30%, and also fusion or wicked bloodline. Category extreme class allies, attack and defense, plus 30%. So, uh, the way I like to think of this unit is, uh, he's basically a mini Fizz Cooler, obviously not as good as Fizz Final Cooler by any means, but uh, he's stacking attack and defense, he's getting multiple supers on his passive, up to three supers here, and uh, the crit chance is nice, and also the support for Wicked Bloodline is nice. Um, the fusion part is a bit of a throwaway, unless you're running like a mostly uh, Dragon Ball Fusions team, I guess, because obviously like the Gogetas and stuff like that, the, the Gotenkses and so on and so forth, are not going to be benefiting from this support, right? But on an extreme Fusions team or a Wicked Bloodline team, he's going to be supporting most of the units. So, uh, actually all the units, right? So, uh, yeah, really good Extreme Z Awakening once again. A mini is Final Form Cooler in the Cooliza. And now we have the Int Celza. Int Celza. Pre-Extreme Z Awakening. Int types Q plus 3. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 80%. Super Attack, Supreme Damage. Greatly lowers Defense. And then Passive is Attack, and Defense plus 100%. Recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. Attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, when HP is 50% or more. With the Extreme Z Awakening, int types keep plus 3, HP plus HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, recovers an additional 10% HP. When HP is 10% or less, so below 50% HP, he's recovering 20% HP um, every time he appears on the rotation. And then attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack when HP is 50% or more. So uh, basically 220% uh, attack and defense above 50% HP and 20% uh, recovery when below 50% HP. So that's the Celza, kind of a dual purpose unit. If you're at low HP, he's a really good healer, and then if you're at high HP, then he's just going to be putting out some good damage while also getting some uh, pretty good defense after the super. So lastly, we have the Tech Janembu. Uh, before the Extreme Z Awakening, Tech types keep plus 3, 80% across the board. Uh, super attack raises defense, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional Attack and defense plus 30% with each extreme class ally attacking in the same turn, self-excluded. Medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and then attacked enemies' attack minus 30%. Uh, with the EZA, leader skill is tech types Q plus 3, uh, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack raises defense, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional Attack and defense plus 60% with each extreme class ally attacking in the same turn, self-excluded. So if you have two other extreme um, units on the rotation, then he's getting 240% attack and defense. And then medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, guard activated against all attacks within the same turn after evading an attack. And uh, also recovers 13% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received. Attacked enemies attack minus 33%. So this guy has a lot of utility going on here. He's uh, definitely got a big attack and defense buff. He's stacking defense as well, so he's going to be good for long events. And uh, he also has the medium chance to evade. And then if he does evade, he also gets the um, guaranteed guard, which reduces the damage he takes by a lot. And then uh, if he takes an attack, then he's also recovering 13% HP. He's also debuffing the attacked enemy by quite a bit. 33% attack is significant. So um, I really like this, this unit, guys. He just does a lot. And he's going to be a very good tank 
a really, really good tank after a couple of supers. After he raises his defense a couple times, he's already getting a big attack and defense buff anyways. And uh, he's getting the guaranteed guard. After he hits, takes a hit, he's also healing you. And uh, the debuff on you know, like Super Bad Road, for example, is going to be huge. So very, very good unit in the Janembu. And that does it, guys, for the Extreme Z Awakenings. We got Janembu, uh, Celza, Kuliza, Weiris, and also the GOAT, Fizz Chow Man. Uh, all Extreme Z Awakening in about a day and a half on JP. And if you guys saw the last video, there were also six other Extreme Z Awakenings coming with the, uh, you know, LR, Goten and Trunks, the Vegitos, the Goku, the Vegeta, the Super Buu, so... Just so many Extreme Z Awakenings on JP, it's kind of insane, but apparently that's just the norm now, so we just gotta get used to it. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below which one you guys think is the best. In my opinion, it's probably... I mean, in terms of utility, it's kind of between Weiris and Janembu, because they both do multiple things. Um, but my personal favorite is Chow Man, <laughs> just because he seems like a really fun unit, and uh, it's freaking Chow Man. I mean, I don't really need to give more reason than that. So there you go, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.